Okay, so now we're on to sum square difference. And sum square difference problem is actually um, somewhat straightforward. So what it says is that the sum of the squares of the first 10 natural numbers is, and then we have 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared, all the way up to 10 squared. And they've been added together, and the result of that is 385. Then we have the sum of the first 10 natural numbers, uh, and then so the 1 to 10 has been summed together to get 55, and then that's been squared, and that gets 3,025. 3, and it says the difference between the sum of the squares and the square of the sum is 3,025 take away 385, which is 2,640. And what we need to do is create a function that finds the sum of the squares of the first n natural numbers. So n is the, num the number of numbers. So in this case, n equals 10. And the square of that sum. So this is the function that we're going to be implementing, and it's called sum square difference. So let's just write that out first. And in terms of testing, we can just do console.log result is and let's just start it off with um, 10 right here this one okay so the way we're gonna get started with this is we're gonna have to basically create two values we're gonna have to create a value for the sum of all the squares and we're also gonna have to create a value for the whole sum squared like this. And then we can just take them away from each other. It's it's not too difficult, this one. So the first thing we're going to do is sum up all of these squares like this. So you wanna do one squared, two squared, three squared, all the way up to n squared. So what I'm gonna do here is say uh, let squared sum. So squared sum is the, the numbers, the squares of the numbers added together. And I'm going to default this to zero. And I'm also going to have a sum here, just so we can sum um, the numbers for this part in the same for loop, just to make it a bit more efficient. And what I'm going to do here is say let i, and then uh, a for i equals one. And we have to go from one all the way up to n. So we want to say one, and then i is less than or equal to n, and then i plus plus like this. So we're going to iterate through all the numbers from one to n. And what we want to do is say um, sum equals sum plus i. So we want to add it to the sum right here. And we also want to make sure that we add it to squared sum. So squared sum equals. And the way you square a number is you just do um, math.pow like this. Then you put the number in, which is i. And then you put the power, which is 2. So again, what this for loop will do is it will go through all the numbers between um, this shouldn't have a space from 1 to n and it will add that number to the, the sum right here and then it will add the square of that number to the squared sum right here so the next so what I'm just going to do here is actually uh, I'll say something like console.log um, sum of each number squared is and then I can display the squared sum variable right here okay so we've got this part right here so the next thing to do is we want to make sure we square the sum of those numbers. And the way we can do that is we can say um, let sum squared. So sum squared is this part right here, which is the sum of the numbers squared. And we can just do math.pal and basically square the sum that we've just calculated here like this. And we can also log this as well just to, for some clarity. So we can say console.log um, sum of um, all numbers. And I'm just going to put this in brackets right here, just so we know what we're talking about here, squared. And then we can print out sum squared right here. And finally, all that's left to do is basically return the difference between them. And in this case, what they've done is the difference between this number, which is, um, I think it's sum squared take away squared sum like this. So we can just do the same thing here. So we can say return sum squared. Oops, that should not be there. Sum squared take away square sum. Like this. And that's pretty much it. This this one is really not that difficult. And um, let's just test it out now. So 410, um, hang on, we have a problem.
Oh, it's because we forgot to initialize this to zero. Um, my bad. There we go. So we have 2640 right there. So let's try it with the rest of the number. So 20 should be 41230. So let's put 20 into here and run that. 41230. And finally, we have to do it for 100. And that should be equal to 25164150 and 25164150. So yeah, that should be our solution right there. So what, again, what it does is it goes through each number from 1 to n, it adds its value to sum, and it adds its squared value to squared sum. And then we basically square the sum to get these, the whole sum squared, and then we just return the difference between them right there. It's a very simple algorithm. So now that we've finished that, we can go ahead and paste this into here. And in terms of the official problem, it wants the sum of the first 100 natural numbers, which we, again, we've calculated right here. So we can go ahead and submit that to be checked. And this function should also be fully working now. So we can go ahead and run the tests now. And as you can see, um, it has been successful and we can go ahead and submit that. And in terms of the problem as well, we've got the official tick. So we're good to go and move on.